<laughs> Every single time a Trump appointee left, no matter how long they served, it was frontline news. Turmoil in the administration. Well, by the same logic, the Biden White House is on fire. Not, not literally, folks, but it, it's communications director Kate Bedingfield, who didn't seem to have much input on Biden's communication at all. But she's gone. It is going to be interesting to see how the media covers this one. Absolutely. And joining us now is former NSC Chief of Staff and America First Policy Institute Senior Fellow, Fred Flights. Fred, thank you so much for joining us. Good to be here. And it's been almost a week now since Biden administration shot down that Chinese balloon that made it all the way across the country after it had collected all of its data that it needed to collect. So far, China hasn't taken credit for the second object that was shot down over Alaska yesterday. So although they were certainly angry that the balloon came down, so what would be what is next between US and China here? Well, we have to figure out what this object was that was shot down. It was smaller and not maneuverable and at a lower altitude. Some experts are wondering whether maybe it was a weather balloon and maybe it was not Chinese. I was on with Dick Morris yesterday, and he accused President Biden of shooting from the hip to shoot down this balloon as soon as possible to recover from the enormous public relations damage done by the last balloon that flew across the whole U.S. and may have surveilled multiple sensitive U.S. military bases. You know, but at the end of the day, as angry as many Americans are in Congress, is it looks like Joe Biden is going to brush past this and try to continue to restore relations with the Chinese and really not do anything to them in response. I'm sorry, I thought you said restore re relations, but I, it should be bend a knee. Um, Fred, <laughs> Fred uh, before uh, we get too far into that, though, I, I want to talk about the, the White House departures here. Look, people depart the White House all the time. It's a, it's a high-stress job. I don't carry much water when Trump appointees did it or when Biden officials did it. But there has been a significant exodus from not only Kamala Harris, but also from the comms team especially. What do you make of it? I wish Kamala Harris was leaving, too, but but let's just put that aside. Don't get greedy. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, these, these jobs are subject to very high burnout rates. But look, uh, we know a lot of people who work in Democratic administrations. They want to cash in. And I imagine people like Bettingfield are wondering whether Joe Biden will be president in 2025. So this is the time to leave, get some very highly paid corporate job, use her access uh, to get a high salary. I think that's what's going on here. Yeah, well, actually, you said 2025. I think will he be president by the end of 2023 is going to be the question. Absolutely. I do yeah. agree with you on that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's interesting. Uh, Fred, to the balloon, though, real quick. Yeah. It's it, it was about the size of a car. I mean, like, I don't, I don't think it was little green men, but it was far different from the balloon that was just shot down on the on the other coast. Uh, what do you make of this? What do you think it is? China hasn't taken credit for it. They haven't claimed it. No, and you know, it was shot down over northern Alaska. It, 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 it hadn't even gone over U, uh, the U.S. landmass. Look, it was, if it was a spy balloon, I'm glad it was shot down. Uh, but I think there was time to figure out what this was, to see what country would claim it. I'd like to know what, what the writing was on this balloon. Do we really know that it was a spy balloon or a weather balloon? But you're right, China has not responded. China is not responding to any attempt by the U.S. to reach out. And you know, I think we made a real mistake by not talking to China before we shot down their balloon over the United States. Mm -hmm. But this administration has mishandled diplomacy with China over the last two years. There's been very little dialogue. Yeah. Do you think there's a chance that it could be a copycat uh, balloon from another country, say Russia? Well, I think it could be actually a, a legitimate weather balloon. There are treaties that allow nations to do this. And if we shot one down that's covered by one of these treaties, we're, we're facing a, 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 whole, a whole new uh, disaster in foreign policy for this country. Yeah, shoot first, ask questions later, I guess, after mm -hmm. not shooting at all until it the passed. The first one. <laughs> the other yeah. one, right, is unbelievable. All yeah. right, Fred Fights, thank you so much for joining us. Good to be here.